Okay, um, today we are going to do Module 2, Lesson 13, um, the Angle Sum of Triangles, and that starts on page 66. Um, so the first concept development on here is just a, basically a reminder of something that we learned in 6th or 7th grade, and that is that the angle sum of any triangle, whether it looks like this or like this or like this, um, will be 180 degrees. So um, this right here, for example, you would write that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 will equal 180 degrees every single time. Um, so it doesn't matter what it looks like, 180 degrees is our angle sum for all triangles. Okay, we are going to get into some proof of this and also we're going to get into using that proof and using our vocabulary to find other angle sums. So um, on the next page, page 67, that looks like this, we are going to start here. Um, and this is a little intense in wrapping your brain around. So if you have to stop and re-watch or re-listen, Feel free to do that at any time. Okay, so first and foremost, we have this diagram right here. Um, and it starts off by asking us to name the three interior angles of ABC. So ABC is this triangle right here. The way we name an angle is like this. So if we're looking for this angle right here, we say angle ABC with the angle we're looking for in the middle. So B is the letter in the middle. Um, this angle right here then would be angle B, C, A. And finally we have angle C, A, B. Right here. Okay, and those are our three interior angles of our triangle. Um, now, part B says name the straight angle, and I'm actually going to erase this right here real quick so that we can get a better look at our figure without all the markings on it. So the straight angle here is going to be angle B, C, D. And let's remind ourselves that a straight angle or a straight line is equal to 180 degrees total. Okay, um, to help us out here, we want to highlight some parallel lines. So AB right here, and I'm gonna put some dotted lines, is parallel to CE. That's gonna be important in our next part because it says what kinds of angles are ABC and ECD. So a, ABC is right here, and ECD is right here. And we learned with our vocabulary yesterday, if um, we have parallel lines, we can assume then that these two are equal because they are corresponding angles. And what does this mean? Is they are equal. Corresponding, don't forget, means they're in the same location um, and that they are equal. Okay, next, what kind of angles are BAC and ECA? So BAC would be right here, and ECA is right here. Now this is going the other way. If we use this as a transversal, oh, hold on, BAC, BAC, and ECA, I'm sorry, I put my line on the wrong side here. ECA would be this one. Okay, if we use this as a transversal then, these are called alternate interior angles um, because they're on opposite sides of a transversal and they're on the inside of our parallel lines here. And what that means is that these are also equal in measure. Okay, now what we're trying to show is that our triangle should equal 180 degrees altogether. And um, this is what we're, we're trying to show here. So this angle right here plus this angle 
right here plus this angle right here, which we know nothing about really, that should equal 180 degrees because it's all on the same line. Well, using that logic, since this angle right here is equal to this one, and this angle right here is equal to this one, it follows that our triangle is also equal to 180 degrees. Now that's a proof and we're going to use all of these ideas. We're not going to write this out formally right here today. We'll come back to that. Um, and we're going to use these ideas though to answer some questions that follow. Um, so we're going to actually skip today the next page, Exploratory Challenge 2, and we're going to move on to the problem set on page 69 um, and I'm going to do one of them with you for the video and then the homework will be to complete numbers one through nine so we're going to do number one together and then hopefully you, that will be enough information for you to complete the rest okay so number one in the diagram below AB is parallel to CD we can see that the measure of ABC is 28 degrees that's right here that's given um, and the measure of EDC is 42 degrees. That's also given. Um, it says find the measure of angle CED. So um, that's what we're looking for. CED is right here. We want to know what that angle measure is. Explain why you are correct presenting an informal argument using angle sum of a triangle. Okay, so if we look at this, we've got two parallel lines. And this is our transversal right here, CB. So we know that this is 28. We can actually say that this is also 28 degrees. So angle ECD equals 28 degrees because it is a corresponding angle to angle ABE. And we're just going to angle ABE. E. Okay, so we can say that, we know that, um, and this is going to, we're going to use this information now to figure this angle out. Um, just on the previous page, we, we showed that every triangle should equal 180 degrees. With that information, if this is 28 and this is 42, um, and the whole thing is 180, we can add our 28 plus our 42. Um, to get 28 plus 42 is 70 degrees total there. And if we the whole thing is 180, we can do 180 minus 70 degrees. And that should give us our angle measure that we're looking for. So 180 minus 70, sorry I ran, went over here, is 110 degrees. And that's our angle measure that goes right there because triangles equal 180 degrees. And that's pretty much it. Um, number two and three um, on the next page are similar to this. And then the rest of them have to do with triangle angle measure. Uh, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to come see me either before school or at lunch. And I will do my best to help you.